Okay, so this is called um, Yoga Stretch, and it's really amazing. After you've done a good workout, it's kind of great for stretching, um, elongating your muscles, but also if you want to kind of go to a different place, you could even do a kind of bit of meditation, deep breathing, it's kind of, it's lovely. Really, really nice, and our friend Jazz helped us write it. She's a yoga teacher, so thanks, Jazz. Right. Okay, well done. We're going to start with the moon salutation. So I want you to bring your hands together in the prayer mudra and hold there. Slowly come up, bring the leg forwards and lunge forward, slowly pushing the hands out in front of you. Opening the hands and looking upwards into a moon salutation. Slowly bring the hands down and place your hands either side of your foot. Reach the foot back and slowly come back comfortably onto your knees. Good, slowly bring the hands in, back to your prayer mutra. Good, slowly rise again to where you're comfortable. Bring the leg forwards and stretch. Lunge as far as you can forwards and then reach up and lean back as far as you comfortably can. You don't have to go that far. And then lean forwards again, nice and slowly. Put your hands either side and come back. Good. Come back to your prayer hands. Good. Slowly. And up again. Get your balance, lean forwards. And take your hands up, but keeping your hands narrow this time and leaning as far back as comfortable and back forwards again. Slowly place your hands onto the floor and sit back to a comfortable kneeling pose. Good, hands into the prayer position nice and slowly, breathing in and out through the nose all the time. Take it forwards, reach forwards as far as you can. Slowly take the hands up keeping them narrow, lunge forwards again, taking your hands either side of your foot and taking the foot back and lean back. Good, come back to your starting position with your palms together, lift up onto the knees and reach forwards into a lunge, trying to get your chest onto your thigh and reaching forwards. Put your hands either side of your foot, turn the back toe under, and slowly come up into your warrior pose. Keep the arms in line so your back arm is at the same level as your front arm, and look down the arm and reach to the universe. Good. Slowly and gently come back down again, putting your hands either side of your front foot, and come back to your starting position and your hands to prayer mudra nice and slowly, breathing all the time. Slowly up, lunging forwards, dropping your hips down to the mat, reaching forward your chest as far onto your leg as you can, keeping your arms level. Slowly put both hands down either side of your foot, turn the back toe under and slowly up into warrior, reaching the arms either side of you level, reaching forwards and looking out to the universe. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose and slowly coming down, putting hands either side of the front foot to steady yourself, bringing your back foot back and slowly sinking back into your starting position. Come forwards into a cat pose. You want to be on all fours with your hands under your shoulders, lifting the back up, dropping the head, breathing. And now dip the back down and lift the head high. And reverse, bring the head down, lifting the back up. Good, keep breathing deeply through the nose and down again. Push your bottom up, your head up. 
And for the last time, you're coming up. And then slowly down, lifting your head up, dropping your back down, keeping your knees steady and still and your hands solid. Now bring your spine back to neutral so that you're in a nice straight line and your back is straight. Take one arm out to the side of you. Hold it there and then reach through and go all the way down until your shoulder and the side of your face are on the floor. Take your hand and put it on top of your other hand. Just hold it there and breathe through your nose. Take the top hand off and put it down at the side of your face to ease yourself slowly back to your starting position. Check again, your spine is straight. And now reach through the other way, through the body. Nice and gently. Put the hand on top and breathe through the nose. Take the top hand off and put it by your face and slowly push yourself back up onto all fours. Now we're going to go into the up dog position. Turn the toes under and slowly lower your body down to the ground. Don't go too far, you want to be able to look forwards. Lift as much body off the ground as you can and we're slowly going to go into down dog. You can be like that if it's easier. Most you definitely. just be like that. That's how I do it. Yeah. Now slowly bring the bottom up, tuck the head under and try and put the heels down if you can, but fine if you can't. But our aim is to really get a full stretch from the toes right up the backs of the legs, right down to your fingertips. Now slowly lift one leg as high as you can and down. Nice and slowly. Then the other side and up. Hold there. Feel the stretch now all the way down the body again oh. and down. Oh. Well done. Now and again, take the leg up. Feel the stretch high as you can and down. And again all the way up. Hold it there for a moment, breathing through the nose and slowly down. Well done. Now come back down onto your knees. Brilliant. Put the toes together and sit your bottom onto the soles of your feet and reach forwards as far as you can. Oh, so nice. Breathing through. If you can put your forehead down onto the ground, that's great. It's called the swan pose. It's lovely and it's the most relaxing of them all. Just breathing in through the nose and out through the nose now. Good. Well done. OK, now we're just going to turn round and lay on our backs. As you come round, you ease yourself slowly back onto your back, Davina. But nice and slowly. Don't whack yourself back down onto your mat because you're in a nice place now. Support yourself. Ease yourself back with down your elbows. using your elbows. That's it. Lovely. Slowly back. I've just moved down my... And what's this called, Davina? Oh, I love this. It's called Shavasana. Shavasana. Take the legs, double width... Sorry, Mark. ..hip apart. OK, and lay there. Just relax, breathing in through the nose. Keep the palms up and the arms away from the body so the energy can flow through you. Now push the heels away from you, tensing the legs. Tensing the thighs, tensing the buttocks. And relax. And now tensing through the arms. Tense. Make a fist. And relax. Tense the muscles in the face and the shoulders. And relax. And again. Jazz said that when we do that, I can I can breathe in and squeeze in all my muscles. Like that. And then when I let it all out, I go like that. Yeah, that's really good. It's a bit scary. No, it's good, though. For anyone else that's in the room. But if you're on your own, who cares? <laughs> and they know why you're doing and it. And it feels quite nice. It's good for your facial muscles. And again, then. Let's do that again, then, as you like it so much. 
and let it go. That's it, Dominique. Go on. Big roar. Rawr. Good. OK, we're just going to go through a little meditation just to relax you totally. So I just want you to be breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And becoming aware of your body. Become aware of how heavy your body feels being supported by the mat. Just keep deeply breathing in and breathing out, letting the energies flow through your body. And if you feel any areas of tension within your body, breathe through them and let them out. Breathing in and breathing out. Become aware now of how relaxed your body feels and how calm you feel. How good you feel for working so hard. And how relaxed you are now in body and in mind. Keep breathing deeply through your nose and relaxing your body further and further down further and further down to where you feel happy and safe and where you feel contented and peaceful. Just stay there a few moments as you listen to my voice and then become aware of yourself slowly coming back to where we began the journey, slowly through the places you visited on your way to deep relaxation, slowly coming back Slowly coming back, your body light and your body rested and happy and ready for the day ahead or the night ahead. Take a big deep breath through the nose and breathe out again. And when you're ready, open your eyes and have a look around you. Wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. And you feel relaxed and calm and ready for whatever you want to do now. I just want to stay here, go to sleep. <laughs> you want to stay here, that's fine. <laughs> but well done. Oh, it's so you. nice. Am I supposed to say something inspirational? Well done. <laughs>